Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing people, I'm back again with the next lab. So this is a flawed brute force protection. So there is a brute force protection and there is a flaw in that. Let us get into the lab. Broken brute force protection IP block. So here uh, let us read this. This lab is vulnerable due to a logic flaw in its password brute force protection. Okay. To solve the lab brute force the victim's password then log in and access their account page. Okay. So we are given our own credentials. I mean the username and password which we can use to understand how exactly the things are happening. And we are given victim's username where we need to uh, brute force this particular username's password. Okay. And there are there is a password list also given to us. We already know uh, this is the one. Let me pin this. Okay, and uh, there is a hint here, but we will come back to that hint later. See, whenever we need to find a flaw, we need to understand the logic first. Then only we can tell what exact flaw is there in that logic. Okay, uh, let us access the lab. Yeah, so the lab is open. Uh, let me hit on my account and given the username and password as Peter, which credentials are already available uh, to us here. Okay. Here we have those credentials. Okay. Uh, let me go back and this time. So this is the username that we need to target now and we need to brute force its password. Okay. Just go here, login with the user with that particular username and give some random password and let us see what is happening what error we are getting obviously this is not the right password that we are giving we don't know the password right so incorrect password so we i think we can directly brute force isn't it let us try okay let me keep the traffic to burp let me give the same username uh, and abcd as password and hit on login so this will give as an inter uh, incorrect password we already know that so this is the particular request we are we have gone through the HTTP history take this to the intruder uh, you already know this right so how to do this this is a very small thing but this is just a trial this is there is a logic and there is a flaw so this is that one and hit on add okay and go to the here and where is this in the browser we have the password list control C go to the burp suit hit on paste just hit on start attack let us see what happens we got all the 200 ok response and if you see the length all the length is almost same let me go here and in the response incorrect ok we have an incorrect password here and let's go here we have a match again saying incorrect password and here we have a match again saying as an incorrect password so let us go back to this and here okay let us do one thing uh, let us take the, consider this one okay this and we will type in something like this and it says okay you have made too many incorrect login attempts Please try again in one minute. We will do one thing. We will. T uh, we already have that request in this uh, HTTP history, right? We will be having just hit on this. So the latest one will be on the top. So this is our request, I guess. Yeah, this is our request. So let me take this to the repeater. Okay, and hit on send. Okay, you have made too many incorrect uh, logins okay now let me give the right password here and it is asking us to wait for one minute what if we give the right password will it allow let's see oh it is asking us to wait for one minute i think after passing the uh, wrong password uh, we took just not more than 10 seconds in just 10 seconds we gave the right password and we again we are able to log in this means uh, every time we check we need a right credentials payloads here should be like see uh, here we should have this one and as well as our victim's username and here we need to have the correct password and also the victim's uh, password I mean the password list we have okay so uh, th that is how we are going to perform an intruder attack now because whenever uh, we are giving the wrong password, 
uh, if too many wrong password entries are done, then it is it is throwing us an error saying that uh, too many passwords are wrong password wrong attempts are there. Wait for one minute. So we don't want to wait for one minute, right? So these kind of attacks we can just simply bypass with the intruder attack. But but still. Uh, uh, there is one more way to just simply do it. Yeah, before uh, just simply doing that. So if you are going directly with that kind of intruder attack. So this is the way you need to uh, prepare the payload. So these are the usernames and these are the passwords. So you are surprised right why uh, the same username is repeating again and again. Because see if I give this username and it's uh, the password normal password list then it is going to tell me uh, too many uh, incorrect passwords right we already saw that so and we also tried directly giving this but that did not work so now what we will do we will give the right password uh, right username and right password once and then we will check with the wrong username uh, I, I mean uh, the victim's username and the uh, any of the passwords okay so that way First, this request will be submitted, which is the right, which is the credentials that we, uh, that Burpsheet gave us, gave to us. Okay. And then we are going to check again, uh, with the list. Again, our successful login will be there. And again, uh, we are going to check with the list. So that way we are going to prepare in this way. So all the way here, uh, the, uh, we have almost 200, uh, user names. Okay. So this way, so we have almost 200 usernames in the alternate and here also as per that only the first one is uh, this. Uh, so as per that, so the first will be the right password for the, for the username what we are given and the victim's password which we want to check. So every time Peter random string, Peter random string. So this way we are going to check, but this is uh, if you ask me, this is an old school technique. Okay. So I will show you a new method how we can do. Of course, this is not a new method, but you know, this is something which is a bit good. I can say now everything that we are going to do is with this particular request itself. Okay. Let me take it back. Okay. Let me take this to the intruder. Hit on clear. So this is, uh, uh, these are the two uh, characters that we need to change. So we are going to automate this using a macro. Okay. The burp suit macro, which we are going to do. So just give this as a payload. This will be, this will only be our payload and uh, go to this uh, place and copy this username. Copy, just give it here. So this is the request every time we are going to send. Okay go here and give the uh, password list that's all what we have just control c and just paste it here okay but now the issue is that if you see this payload list how we have prepared so one in the one is the correct one one is the uh, thing which we are checking but now we only given the checklist the things which we want to check as payloads so what about this right one so this one we are going to automate okay we don't want to type in each and everything I have just typed in to show you how it is happening but uh, let me go to this uh, project options and sessions here click on add so this is a rule number one and add just hit on add and here you can see run a macro okay just hit on this run a macro and you don't have to change any of these things okay just hit on add here and this will show you all the history take the successful response here you can see the 302 so this is the successful response right so we are considering this one and its response okay every time so the request only we are considering the request okay hit on ok uh, just hit on test macro uh, just click on OK and again hit on test macro. So this should send this particular request and we will get the response every time. Okay. Uh, okay. We, we are good with this. So we need to combine this thing with our intruder. Okay. Intruder attack. So that is our target now. 
just hit on ok yeah this is also ok and go to the scope here and change it to include all urls and hit on ok Okay, this is our rule again now uh, whenever there is any request sending in these particular tabs this particular rule will implement uh, let's say uh, the first request in the intruder is sent uh, and then the second request in the intruder will be sent right will be ready to send but between that two requests here this rule will execute that means this rule is to execute the request the successful uh, uh, request which we have already uh, you know included in this rule that's that's the thing we, we did right so just uh, go to the intruder and hit on uh, okay wait wait but see uh, in, if you see this resource poll here you can see like uh, 10 requests will be submitted at once but we don't want like that okay we want only maximum concurrent requests as once because uh, one after the one should be submitted we already did uh, it before and we saw that we got all the errors okay so we want one request after other okay we want one request to be submitted and we want its response and the other request then should be sub submitted okay and go to this options mm, do we want anything no uh, go back to the payloads everything is right and hit on start attack and the attack type requires uh, between 2 and 20 payloads positions okay oh sorry uh, i think we did not change this we this is fine because we only uh, declared one here okay uh, just hit on start attack and let us see this time let us wait and see what happens uh, the first request is getting submitted and that macro will execute the second request is getting submitted then that macro will again execute so macro execution in a sense it will also send a request the successful request which has the right username and password okay let us see if we get any 302 here okay we will wait for for for, for just some time okay we will wait and before that let me check if this is not expired Thank God, it is not expired. Yo, if you see this, we got trust no one. So this should be our perfect username and password. If you see, as I said, so if you don't know how to manually, uh, how to use these macros, you will have to edit, you know, uh, how long it, it took for me to edit these two files. It took almost like uh, 20 to uh, 20 minutes almost because every time typing this and typing this typing this and typing this so this is lot of manual work if you understand the macro you can you know uh, hack everything just just kidding but just like that it will make your work very easy just uh, okay uh, let me directly use this username and password yo this has logged in and congratulations on solving the lab and and if you really uh, understood the macro thing, just uh, comment it down uh, just like that, whatever you understand. Okay. Thank you and have a great day.